So I'm going to start off this showcase by saying something that I've said multiple, multiple times. I am hoping my opponent goes Alex Perez. I am hoping and hoping and hoping. I don't know for sure, but I am hoping that UFC 5 is not going to have the sort of ranked system that it does right now where the weight classes cycle where some hours it's heavyweight and light heavyweight and other hours it's middleweight and welterweight and then featherweight and lightweight and bantamweight and flight it is so absurd man thank you you know for those of us that that make content and those of us that you know especially if you have like other shit that you're doing and you're not just sitting at home all day waiting for a specific weight class you know, this can get really annoying so I think we got a good player though there you go this is yeah this dude is not completely oblivious to what is going on in the game so I'm gonna take this one As you guys can see I'm pretty sure it's pretty clear to you at this point that we are in quick match and uh I'm going to tell you, man, it is not the easiest thing in the world to run into a good player in quick match. And I don't get it, man. I don't. Why aren't more of you playing quick match? Like, it's, I mean, I guess I get it. This dude is not bad, though. Look at this. Look at him pressuring really well. Hold on, let's see. I love his pressure style. You notice he's kind of just one sh one shot at me. Like pop, pop, pop. That's the rhythm. You got to be very careful with players like this, man. I do the same thing. You know, you can find yourself easily pinned against players that are doing this. Because every time you try to attack, you find that you're being interrupted with a shot. So... Just got to be very careful with that. See, what he's trying to do right now, he's trying to get me to the cage, and then he's going to start throwing combos. He's using the single shots to try to pin me. See that? Can't, I can't let him do that. So I'm circling again, as you can see. I'm circling, circling, returning myself to the center. There you go. Mm. Trying to go for an uppercut because I thought he was going to go to the body right there. But instead, goes with a knee to the body. Oh, my goodness. Yep, this is a ranked quality opponent, baby. I'm glad. I don't even know why I waste my time sometimes waiting for ranked. I mean, I know. I always know that if I play, if I search long enough, I'm going to find a, a ranked quality opponent down here. Like, I know that. It's just... I wish there were more of you guys, man. You know? And I get it, though. You don't really gain satisfaction from playing quick match because most of the players you run into are not very good. But, you know, <laughs> it would it would make it so much more fun if, like, a lot of you really good players just hang out there for a little bit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I'm really hoping that EA fixes this. You know, I still think the best ranked system was the UFC 2 system, to be honest with you guys. And my that's that's probably the most fun I've had playing this game ranked. Um I love the fact that you ran into a wide variety of, of players. You're not running to the same people over and over again. So kind of it allowed you to, to really, you know, play a lot of matches with ease, you know, and just, just calm down and just relax as you play. Sit them down course they had like different uh, different things that you could do at the time in ranked something very similar to random fighter select them I think it's called top set him down the top 10 fighters of the of the day where like oh man this dude is getting fucked up maybe I'll go back and show you guys what I mean
And then, of course, there was Ultimate Team, which was fun. Like, the UFC 2 Ultimate Team was actually really fun. That game did a few things right, man. To be honest, it really did. Hopefully, they open this shit up. I want to be able to pick whatever weight class I want and search for matches there. Like, this is... This is not encouraging anybody to play all these damn weight classes. Like, open it up. Got him. Woo! That was good. That was good. As he was throwing... We just fire it off a front kick. Boom! Sit him down right there. Sat him down clean. I like that. Look at that. Oh man, he was he was going to the body as well. As we binker. And the fight is over. Alright, let's see if I can find one more. Man. <laughs> oh man. At this point, I'm just I'm just quitting out. I'm just quitting out right away. The moment I start playing and I think this and I I think my opponent sucks, I just quit out. So let's see. You can always tell within the, like the first few seconds. Uh-uh, he's good. You see that combo he just threw right there? That tells me what I need to know. <laughs> you can just tell, man. You can tell. That's a rank quality opponent. All right, let's see. So this is actually a pretty good matchup. Brandon Moreno is who's fighting uh, Kai Carl Franz. He's actually fighting him tomorrow. Well, today. Because it's like, it's like 4 a.m. at the moment. Your boy should probably be asleep. But, uh, yeah. They're fighting. It's a very, very interesting matchup for sure. I think a lot of us will be rooting for Brandon Moreno. I, you know, I, but a part of me is also hoping that Kaikara Franz can get it done just so we can get some new blood fighting for the championship. You know, I don't want this to be one of those like Max Holloway and. Volkanovski situation where it's like there's a clear number one and number two and the clear number one and number two just keep fighting each other over and over again like that just gets really boring to be honest with you guys I'd like to see the rest of these guys rise up to challenge the champion man so my opponent is working my legs as you guys can see my left my left calf is actually bruised up right now I'm going to try to make sure I'm working his legs as well. And I need to see if I can get a little bit flashy with this match. Uh, but generally, what I like to do is, you know, I like to do that later on when I know I have my opponent beat. Or at least I have him tired or... Then we're going to start throwing some flashy stuff. I have a very conservative play style with, with pretty much everything that I do with martial arts. Um, which is also why, like, you know, I, I, I feel like with me right now and, and jiu-jitsu, like five-minute matches are just, like I'm looking forward to when I can start doing like 10-minute matches, to be honest with you guys, because like my style of fighting, oh ho a style of fighting or especially in real life it's like I'm more conservative with what I do um I like I really really like uh pressure passing um breaking down the opponent and I, what I want is, like, I'm not the type that really likes shooting a bunch of submissions. Like, oh, I'm going to shoot this and shoot that and shoot that. If, it, if this one fails, it, you know, I, I go to... Like, I don't really attack submissions like that. Like, when I go for a submission, like, I finish it. 
because I like to go for a submission when the opponent is so broken down that like they're not gonna have the freaking will to like to even to defend against it like they're so gassed out their arms are burning it's like that's when I like attacking it when I go for it I want to finish it um why did I start talking about this right now oh yeah 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 hey are you there bro yeah he is I was talking about I want to start doing some flashy stuff um like the flashy thing stuff in the game I kind of look at as submissions in jujitsu I think flashy moves even in real life striking it works best after your fundamentals and your basics have already been set after you have a nice foundation going you know there you go send them back you know, some players are like Uriah Hall where like from round number one he's already freaking thrown spinning shit he has, he's not his jab is not established his distance is not established he's gonna start winging spinning shit at you you know what I mean I'm more like Izzy like he's gonna throw his spins and all oh that was so close oh my god more like Izzy you know it's like He's going to establish his jab. He will establish the leg kick. He'll make sure that the basics, everything is all set. And, you know, then he's going to start looking for uh, for the more flashy moves. And that's how I'm going to, that's how I approach the game. You know, like some of you start your matches off and like you're already spinning elbow and flying knee. I'm like, damn, man, can you like... You know what I mean? Like, can you break down the opponent first? Dude, look at my freaking legs. Rocked again. There it is. I was looking for that shot right there. That handstand roundhouse. See if we can do it again. See if we can catch him clean with it. Back up. Nope. He's blocking it. Sit him down. See, this is where we're going to start flashing a little bit. Right here. Because his leg is hurt. His head is hurt. Send him back with these... Come on, man. Come on. Open up a little bit, man. Oh, back up a little bit. Let's rip it. A kick. I need to get him to block low so I can throw it. I want to sit him down with it. I ain't taking nobody down. Nope. Here it is. Aha! Okay. I'll take it, man. I'll take... Yeah, this is the best time to start... To now start throwing it. Because, like... It pays off. You know what I mean? If I would have started throwing that... The beginning of the round... When his health was, was full... And his stamina was... All good and... Alright. Oh, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. I did not mean that, bro. I wasn't trying to taunt you. I was trying to bow right back. Thanks for the bow, sir. Send him back. What else does... What else does Kaikar of France have? I know he has a... Uh, nope. I know he has a Superman punch. I know he has a Superman punch. Let's see if we can... If we can find an opening for that. A kick. There you go. Catch him with that again. Oh, my God. Wow. That had... That had Flash KO written over it. I'm going to lunge again, though. <laughs> I was petty right there. My, how dare you? How dare you interrupt my lunge? Another one. We got overhands. Yes, sir. Aha. No, 
Nice. We're gonna start looking for that Superman punch. See if I can find a place to sneak it in. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. He's got a spinning back fist as well. Yeah, hot. There it is. See if we can see if we can land that. Not quite, not quite. Oh, that should be it, boys. That's it. Beautiful. All right. And that is going to do it. Beautiful. That was fun, man. That was very fun. Yeah, if, if I can offer any advice, you know, I, I understand that those flashy strikes are more fun to throw. You know, it's just it's just more entertaining to watch yourself spin through the air and do all that. But, like, you know, just get your basics down. You know, just break down the opponent first. Break him down. Make sure the head health is low, body health is low, maybe leg health is low, stamina is low. And then you can start, like... As the fight is progressing to an end, you can start like throwing your flashy moves. It's gonna pay off a lot more. You know, you don't wanna start doing it way too early when the opponent has all the energy in the world and they just read that you're doing it. It's just not it's not a good idea. So better better to just uh, approach it the way that I just did, you know. Just my advice. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did Leave a like. I'm going to see if I can upload one for Brandon Moreno before the fights. If not, I'll just do it after the fights. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good morning. Peace.